Coach, we'll get started with a few questions for you. You've won a pair of PAC titles and been the PAC Coach of the Year in your first two seasons at Thomas More. What do you feel has led to the success the Saints have enjoyed in your first two seasons in Crestview Hills? Well, before I answer that question, Kelvin, I just want to say, for me personally, it's, it's kind of bittersweet. Uh, I'm a former player in the PAC, being uh, in Case Western Reserve's inaugural season. And, you know, I've come to really respect the guys in this room, the coaches. I have some friends there. You know, I'm really optimistic about the future of Thomas More football. But uh, for me, I'm just going to try to enjoy uh, some of the fields that I played on and uh, my last round here. So it's kind of bittersweet personally. But anyway, answer your question. Uh, I inherited a great program. And I'm just going to be honest. You know, if you look at the four coaches that preceded me and the culture and the way they win, and, you know, it's – Nothing, no, nothing magic every year. Our kids work hard. They love to play, love to play the game. You know, you get a feeling when you're on campus, you walk in the weight room and they just get after it. So I think it's just our players and the culture and atmosphere in Crestview Hills. What does a player like your representative today, Brennan, mean to your program? And how do you see him controlling the offense in his senior season? Well, I'm real proud of Brendan. You know, this is my third year with him, and he's played in pretty much every game except one, I think you said, since he's been there. And he's, last two years he's been a starter. He'll be a two-year starter. But uh, he's really developed himself. He's a great athlete. He can throw. He's a student of the game. He's a leader for us. You know, so obviously we try to mold our offense a little bit on his abilities, and, uh, you know, hopefully it's going to be a good year for him. A strong defense has always been a staple at Thomas More. Can you talk a little bit about the leadership on the defensive side of the ball? Okay, yeah. Um, we have some great players back up front, a couple of deep defensive linemen, a bunch of DBs. I've always been kind of a defensive guy, and uh, Chris Nora, a D coordinator, does a great job. You know, we're, we're real aggressive up front, and, you know, I think we got some pretty good cover guys. So it's just kind of a tradition. You try to, you know, uphold every year, you know, and just, like, not be the team that's going to, you know, go backwards from the year before. So, you know, I think our guys are excited. Coach, last question for you. What are a couple of the areas you believe will be a fundamental strength of your team heading into 2017? Well, have, off the top of my head, of course, we have BK, a quarterback, and I think we have some really good skills. Uh, I think three really good running backs, uh, two that played a lot last year, a couple starting receivers, uh, you know, one offensive lineman that played every game and another guy that played a lot. So probably our skilled guys. And defensively, we got a lot of our secondary back, so uh, and we feel pretty good about that. Coach, thank you. Brennan, a couple questions for you. Offensively, what do the Saints need to do in 2017 to continue to be explosive on that side of the ball if they, as they have been over the past couple of years? Um, I would say that the things we need to work on um, and improve would be, you know, up front. You know, we need to block a little better, um, both running, pass. Um, you know, we need to execute more efficiently than we did last year. And I would say, I mean, that's pretty much it for the offense. You went to high school 15 minutes from the Thomas More campus. Talk a little bit about what it's like to play in front of family and friends for a program that is known for its successes on the field and its enthusiasm to get involved in the local communities off the field. Yeah, I mean, it's nice. Um, it's really nice because, you know, all your family can come to all your games. It's not like, you know, it's five hours away in Pennsylvania. Uh, but, you know, it's a really good experience. You know, you have all your old coaches come and watch. And, you know, you play with a lot of local guys that you played against in high school. So it's a really good experience. Brendan, last question for you. Um, we talked about being a senior. How do you feel your particular role changes? Or does it change at all this year as a senior quarterback? Um, it, the role certainly doesn't really change much. I think the expectations are a little higher, uh, you know, that I put on myself and that, you know, the coaches put on me. Um, the things that need to change, I mean, I need to, like I said, I need to be more efficient, um, you know, quit turning the ball over as much as I did, and, you know, everything else. Coach Brennan, thank you. Thomas Moore will get its season underway on September 2nd at home against Franklin College.